In this particular activity, I'm going to try to make this dash robot move forward um, a certain number of centimeters. And this relates to my estimation. This is there's some mental math in here. In the number strand, depending on the grade level, we need to add up to a hundred or even just counting if it's a lower. Um, so in this particular challenge, I want to see if I can go make dash go 200 centimeters in four moves. So I've got two moves here. I can add in the drive. By default, your drive forward is going to be 50. If I tap on that, I can adjust it. So let's say I want to go 70. And then I, if I added another one in at 30, so 80, 20, 70, 30 is my estimated uh, 200 centimeters. Um, in four moves. So you can vary the challenge based on grade level and then I can just run the program and I can also be taking pictures or recording this um, from a different iPad perhaps if I'm in a, a, a group project. Um, now if I want to, uh, here's the beautiful part, if I want to submit this activity through Google Classroom, all I really need to do to show some sort of proof is that I can do a screenshot, listen for it. Alright, I took a screenshot there, it's in my camera roll. Then in my Google Classroom app, and by the way, in Google Classroom we're going to teach the students to sign in to Google Classroom with their own account. We're also going to teach them to sign out of Google Classroom so to then sign out after they're done, they're going to go manage accounts, or even if it's to sign in, they're going to manage accounts, they're going to add in their own account. At the end, when they're finished, we want to go back to this manage area and click the manage link in the blue bar at the top, and we're going to remove their particular account after the activity, okay? Because we want to really teach that digital citizenship skill of signing in and out. Now, on to the submission. So here's the challenge, make a number with the dash robot. And so I want to sort of submit proof that my uh, robot has actually done this particular challenge. And I've got three different levels of challenge here. Um, so now look for the add attachment in the Google Classroom app. In this case, to, to send in the screenshot, I'm going to pick photo. And it'll be in my moments, it'll be the newest one, and so it uploads automatically. Now check out what else I can do. I can also add another attachment, see use camera, that is awesome. So now I can use the camera with either the photo or the video setting, and I can actually record video right from within the Google Classroom app and submit that as proof. Now in this particular challenge, what proof really is there? Well, I may want to, how do I know I've gone 200 centimeters? How do we know our distances are accurate? So we can have a start and a finish line and the kids can measure. They can have uh, chart paper on the ground if you wish. Maybe they want to measure a number of tiles. So there are a number of ways we can verify whether their measurements are accurate. Just another way of adding another layer of thinking. Uh, to this and really not guiding them too much and having them really think themselves about how they can verify, record their data. If this is an upper grades, you might want to have them, you know, do some recordings in a chart. Um, upper grades as well, you might have them in four moves. I might move forward 100, backward 50, forward, uh, um, you know, 100, etc., back 50 to go 100 centimeters, for example. Um, so, you know, you can use the positive and negative. If I were to um, do a whole bunch of, uh, why don't I take this away? So, if I wanted to, if I wanted to count by multiples, I could have students, if I just add in 50, 50, 50, 50. So how would I write this down as a as a number sentence? 
you know, for some of my older grades, I might say 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50, or I might even say 50 times 4. So it's a different way hitting another number outcome where we can connect to our math program of studies and leveraging the screenshot feature as well as to be able to upload a photo as well as that camera feature to offer photo or video proof right from our iPads using Google Classroom. Don't forget to teach the kids how to sign out of the iPad. Hope you enjoy.